Cheers, everybody! You shot James Bond to start off the next big, the 50th anniversary yeah. movie. You killed them in the beginning. I know, I know. But they made me do it. I wanted them to change it. That was one of the things I said to the writers, please don't make me do that. Because I thought that everyone was going to hate the character after that. Well, totally, because we, after, I mean, I saw the movie last night, and I have yeah. to say, I absolutely love this film. And Aww. for those of you watching, you just need to go out and see this. It's one of the best Bond films ever, ever. So, um... When you did do that, because obviously you, I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to like her. I, I think, no, seriously. Really? No, seriously. I did no, think that in the is, beginning. No but, no, but seriously, to be fair, was it really my fault? Mm. It wasn't, no, no, no. No, really. you were doing exactly what an I agent should do. I was following orders. That's Absolutely the, yeah, correct. Exactly. So, although we were yeah. kind of like, huh? we also forgave you. Oh, good. At the same time. Good, because that's what I was worried about. So I'm really relieved to hear that. Thank you. You are one tough cookie. I am. You are, because yes. not only, you know, with the, all the gunslinging that you do and the car chases, how was that, I mean, literally, from somebody watching who's been involved in TV, how was that filming all that stuff? Hard, mm -hmm. to be quite honest with you. It was really, really hard. I had no idea it was going to be that hard. Um, there was so much training involved. I was training for two months before we even started filming. Driving training? A driving training, um, combat training, gun training, working out with a trainer five days a week for two hours a day. I mean, and this is coming from me, who's like the laziest person <laughs> ever, never, ever exercises. So uh, it was a real shock for me. I actually threw up a couple of times before. Before, before you started shooting. Yeah. So yeah. literally, so before you got the first day, then you were going on set and you knew you had mm -hmm. to do, let's just say that the, the fantastic driving sequence that's at the top yeah. of the film. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give any more spoilers away, mm -hmm. but you were nervous. Yes, it was. I didn't throw up because I was nervous. I threw up because of the exercising. Because it was such a shock to my oh, right. body. Because gotcha. you know, from coming from nothing to you know suddenly doing all this stuff. But it was really nerve wracking doing all the stunts because it's completely different to regular acting. And I had no idea. You know, when there's like scenery falling down and a train that takes half an hour to reset if you get it wrong, there's like so much pressure. This is right in the back so of your head. So much pressure. Yeah. How many millions of dollars is that going to exactly. cost to reset? Exactly. But that see, that sequence in particular with the driving and uh, and you know you you have a knack of getting out of traffic yeah you just bash your way out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now does it frustrate you when you're in real traffic that you can't just it really does <laughs> yeah it's a great idea uh, dodge them cars kind of thing okay now one of the things again that i thoroughly enjoyed your sense of humor in the whole thing because you've got some fantastic one-liners yeah. was that a, for you as the actress uh playing the role when you read something like that you think okay i'm I, and i don't like to call you bond girls i know it's a bond you're a bond woman that's it, right there, there's a that's lot that's what i said yeah, yes you're a bond woman and yeah, there's like a lot because there's a lot more to you in that aspect exactly and, you know exactly. um so when you had these lines of sense of humor did you think it was like a, a little bit of a gift that was given to you yeah i thought it was a fantastic gift because normally like bond women don't really get to have any humorous lines they just get to be kind of arm candy and, and, and look sex. great have sex <laughs> yeah lots of snogging scenes as well yeah. but i got some of that as well which yes, is good yes. um but i also got the witty lines as well so yeah. i was really really happy because the yeah. this, the sequence where you are again without trying to give too much away the in the casino yes and you're I very like much you're very much in control yeah which is really great because a lot of the women as you said are portrayed mm. as being someone that he's just going to have on his arm mm. or he's, but you are strong in yeah this. but she, i mean eve is a field agent she's just as capable as him you know and that's the whole important idea that mm -hmm. i wanted to get across you know they're equals in the field and they they rely on each other so uh there's there's equal respect between both of them and also the fact that he he doesn't he kind of is winding you up a little bit about things. Yes. That, that's all I'll say. Things, yeah. that you, things that have gone on. Yeah, yeah. You can't really say any more than no, that, actually. It's terrible. How, 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 is, how is it for you, though, that you're, you know, when you do the interviews, be, and, and particularly because you guys filmed this and you finished it a while ago. Yeah. And then you had the premiere in London most recently, mm -hmm. uh, which was a thrill because you, uh, the premiere, and then you met the royal family afterwards. That's right. Yeah, it was amazing. And they also turned the Royal Albert Hall into this completely new place. It's never had a premiere before. No. It was, like, massive. It was unbelievable like anything I've ever seen before. It was amazing. And it was great meeting the royals as well. Yeah, I watched yeah. it all on television. I wasn't invited. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Okay, Daniel Craig, super hot. Yes, of course. The hottest. The hottest Bond ever. Totally. I mm. totally agree with you. But that sequence where you, again, I don't want to give too much away, but 
he was, all I'll say, people watching, he's like that, and you're right there, yeah. and you're totally, again, in control. Did you have to practice? You were shaving him. Yeah, that's, that's all right. right. But did you have to practice? I no, she's any- shaving his face, everybody. <laughs> My gosh, I just got a flash so image there. It was awful. No, I am just <laughs> shaving his face. Let's keep this PG, please. <laughs> no, but did you pra- did you have to practice how to to because you do it with a straight razor? Yeah, I did have to practice. I went to barber school for like three weeks to learn how to shave him properly. I started off on balloons with shaving foam, and then I graduated to members of the crew, and then finally they allowed me on uh, Mr. Daniel Craig. Well, I hope I've gotten to give enough away that excites everybody about the movie, but not, you know, and just, I'm thrilled to sit and talk to you. It's Aww. absolutely fantastic, so and I really loved it. it. And was he wearing anything under the towel? I didn't check. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look. See, I would have. Anyway, I wouldn't, I, have been, I wouldn't have been a Bond woman. I don't know how method he is, so uh, you'll have to ask him. I will, next time I see him. <laughs> Thanks to Naomi Harris. Skyfall is in the theaters tomorrow. It's uh, fantastic, so please, please go check it out. Attack.